Hey folks, something different today. It's a video about making videos, specifically making them quicker and more easily, and this applies to myself, but also to anyone out there who's either already making Kingdom Hearts content or looking to get into it. For a bit of background, when I'm making a video, especially one that talks about the worlds, the characters, or the story, this always necessitates a lot of footage of all that stuff to match up with what I'm talking about. Whether I'm capturing gameplay or cutscenes, I almost always grab it off my own PS4 with my capture card, and then I'm left with a mountain of footage to sift through. One of the most common and frustrating parts of the editing process for me is finding that specific scene that I want to play behind my narration. Let's say, for example, I'm talking about Dream Drop Distance, specifically that part in the middle of the game where Minnie's being held hostage by Maleficent and Pete. The obvious first step is to go to theater mode on my DDD file to look for the scene. This is typically where the trouble starts because very rarely are the theater mode titles super indicative of what's going on and sometimes they're actively misleading. In this case, there's actually a cutscene called Minnie is Kidnapped, although none of the characters I just mentioned actually appear in it. The cutscene I'm really looking for is called The World's Data, which I doubt many people would have guessed. I can't even count the number of times where I was able to visualize in my head where a cutscene takes place down to the world and area to remember the characters that appear there or even what song is playing but be unable to easily locate it without sifting through like 10 minutes of incorrect cutscenes. One potential workaround was to go find one of those big long full game movie videos on YouTube and scrub around to find what I'm looking for, but even still the scenes aren't individually labeled like they are in theater mode, and if you wanted to pull the clip right from the game movie video in decent quality, you're probably looking at downloading anywhere from a 15 to multi-hour long video. All this for a few seconds of footage for your shitpost video of all the different characters saying what's going on. What is going on? So I basically decided to fix that the only way I know how to, which is with a massive spreadsheet. Introducing the Wayfinder Project, which is essentially a directory of every single Kingdom Hearts cutscene from KH1 up to Melody of Memory. This is something I had worked on sporadically for my own purposes for the last few months, with all of the scenes from 1, Recom, and 2 all compiled and cataloged, but I recently decided that since it had been doing me a lot of good, I ought to finish the effort and share it with anyone who might find it useful. The basic premise here is that you can very easily find the exact scene you're looking for in less than a minute by just using Ctrl or Command F and typing whatever it is you're looking for. So long as you know what game it's in, this thing will do all the searching for you. If you're looking for a Xemnas scene in KH2, just Ctrl F Xemnas and you'll have every appearance highlighted for your convenience. This extends to every character, enemy, or boss, as well as every world, area name, and even the song that plays in each scene. Maybe you're looking for a particular scene in KH1 where the Disney villains meet in Hollow Bastion, so you can type either Hollow Bastion or Castle Chapel, and you'll get every instance of that area appearing in the game. As I mentioned, it also works for music tracks, so if you're either watching a scene and trying to figure out what song it is that's playing, or you want to find every single instance where Rowdy Rumble is used, look no further than this very dedicated nerd's Google Sheets file. In addition, every single song links to a YouTube video of that track, and every scene is titled with its theater mode name with a link to that scene on YouTube as well, with no extraneous content or intro or outro, just the exact scene as it appears in the game. Each scene also has a brief notes section that occasionally notes any memorable quote or moment that happens in that scene, aka things you might explicitly be looking for, maybe like Yidus Vanitas or any of the Master of Masters various one-liners. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Like I said, it's been pretty useful for me in finding footage, so I hope you'll find it useful, or at the very least, interesting. A view-only link to the spreadsheet will be in the description and pinned comment, and if you have any questions or any corrections to make, since I'm positive I did not absolutely nail all 2,000 plus scenes I've watched, please do let me know. Let me reiterate, I watched and cataloged the characters, worlds, areas, and music for over 2,000 cutscenes and captured and uploaded the footage for over half of them, and this includes the Recoded movie. So, you know, I've been in talks to receive a Nobel Prize from now until the end of time. Jokes aside, it really was a massive undertaking, and you all know I'm not above panhandling, so if you find this project useful, help your boy out on Ko-fi or Patreon. Links also perpetually below. And to wind down my little presentation, I want to thank a few people, first and foremost Chain and KSM at the Kingdom Hearts database, which essentially adopted this project as much of it is hosted on their brand spanking new YouTube channel. Thanks as well to the channel Apps Plus Gameplay, which already hosted all of the KH1, Recom, Days, and half of the KH2 cutscenes, which cut down on a lot of work for me. Also want to thank David Russell, Keynode, Lady, and KH Waterblock for helping me identify a bunch of tracks, many of which are nameless and never officially released KH3 songs. Thank you guys for your help, and thank you all for watching. Check out the pinned comment for some additional information that I didn't have a great spot for in the video, and I will see you all next time.